Hey, I'm Karin Wiener from The New Wheel, and I am joined today by Jason. Nice Jason. to see you. Great to be sitting with you. And we are graced by the presence of the Stromer ST7. which is the ultimate speed electric bike. This is the bike that we have all been waiting for for so long, and I am so excited. This is really the bike that you can, it's set it and forget it. You ride to work, you ride home. You stop, you pick up groceries, you do what you need to do, and you have a phenomenal time while you're at it. Joy. Never stuck in traffic. Never. Never parking issues. Lots of fun. And a level of kind of presence that I think is really important. Like there's something about riding a Stromer. It is fast, it is powerful. And so you are, it's, it's the way I imagine like a person who's really into driving sports cars on Highway 1 drives on Highway 1. Like those guys don't listen to the radio while they're driving. No, 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 no. They are focused. They are with their machine. It's a sort of like transportational zen. This is transportational zen time as well. It's not time to be daydreaming. It's just time to be focused on where you are now and how you're doing it. Now, we had been ogling Pinion as a drive system for San Francisco. So we went to the head of product and the CEO and we said, look, the coolest bike would be a Pinion Drive Stromer. Do you think that you could make that? It's here and it's so cool. This has gear range, speed, battery range. It's got it all. It's the fastest way to get anywhere in an urban environment. Um, and it is a distinct pleasure to ride. What makes this bike so unique is its ability to climb hills. One of the things I noticed was, okay, yeah, I'm going up the hill, but I'm also going up that hill at 14, 18, 24 miles an hour. That is a major accomplishment for a hub drive motor, and it's because it's combined with this mid-drive shifting system, and you know the performance is phenomenal. Let's talk about just the basics of what opinion is, because it's actually a totally different way of having gears on a bike. On this bike, the gears are right here in the middle, 12 of them, and the gearbox gives you a massively wide range of gears. And also, in conjunction with that change, you now have a Gates carbon belt drive, which means this bike on the maintenance O-meter is low, like record-breakingly low. Stromer has always been our lowest maintenance bike because it has regenerative braking. So when one engages the brakes, your motor becomes a dynamo and actually physically slows you down instead of your brake pads having to do all of the work. Which means that on a mid-drive powered bike that does not have regenerative braking, you're looking at getting somewhere between one and 2,000 miles on a good set of brake pads. But on a Stromer, you can get four or 5,000 miles on a set of brake pads. Also, just like the pressure in your hands and the feel of breaking down a really long hill. Yesterday, I was riding down a super long hill and I just put myself in full regen mode and just relaxed down the hill. I wasn't even putting any braking power into my hands at all. Um, and that's going back to the battery. Yes. Yeah, so you get about 15% efficiency back to your battery. Combine regenerative braking with the fact that we've got a Gates carbon belt drive and what kind of maintenance schedule you're looking at. That is where this low maintenance drivetrain and the low maintenance braking system comes together to be super meaningful from a true car replacement perspective. And you'll be doing those miles. I think you're looking, if you are a very heavy, heavy user, you're looking at just an annual tune-up. I could, under load, going up a hill, change the gear, flawless. It never once gave me trouble. And for me, that's a game changer that I can now have a no maintenance system and have derailleur style performance. This is incredible. We've never had that before. One quick thing on the gearing, uh, it does have the benefit, unlike a derailleur, where you can change the gears at a total stop. You can go from top to bottom at a full stop, the gears will change all by themselves. It's powerful. Like if you enjoy the feeling of feeling powerful, you've got to try this bike. You have to try this because bike. Because it's insane. As a Stromer user, 
Stromer's really refined this machine over the years, and the ST7 is the pinnacle of that refinement. What are we seeing that's different this year in this bike than years past? This bike uh, utilizes ABS braking, which means that you can't, what we call endo in the bike community, but that means basically falling off your bike because your front brake locks up and you end up on the pavement. That's a bad thing to have happen. So that's impossible on this bike, which is very, very cool. If you've been in a car and you're on snow and you push the brakes too hard, you'll hear the, you'll feel the brakes go. That technology has made it down to the bike. It's miniaturized and it's amazing. Battery size. This battery is a honker. Now you can actually see how big it is because part of the characteristic of this bike is that it is physically large. Yeah. But what that means is that your range is epic. So I think we calculated, you calculated this morning what? Okay, so I did eight and a half miles at 720 feet of elevation change and it burned 11% of the battery, which if my back of the napkin math, internet, you'll tell me if I'm wrong, is roughly about 70 plus miles of range that you can theoretically get. And that was at full assist in sport mode. And the average speed, according to the trip computer, was 18 miles per hour from door to door. Kind of insane, because this is 720 feet of elevation change going over the Golden Gate Bridge, coming up into the Marin Headlands, and this bike just goes. And did you follow the speed limits? Of course, 15 miles an hour on the Golden Gate Bridge. Good Everybody job, knows that. well done. Yes. People, Stromer users, please. I've never driven a Porsche Cayenne, <laughs> but I think they go really fast. They look like they go really fast, but that doesn't mean that you drive them really fast in all circumstances. So places like the bridge, places like shared walk and bike paths, mm. or honestly just anywhere where there are other humans that you should be respectful of. And driving defensively, because cars are not expecting you to be going as quickly as you are. This is one of the best parts of the bike though, is the fact that when you want to open it up, you can open this bike up. Yeah. So this bike can really meet you where you are, depending on your ride style. You just gotta ride correctly for the moment. There are a number of improvements underneath the hood of the bike. Things like the on and off switch just feels so good. There's a USB-C plug to be able to plug in to charge your cell phone or whatever else from your battery. Um, the rack has been upgraded and now takes a capacity of 50 pounds. And the tires are upgraded. So these new Pirelli tires just feel super stable. They ride incredibly well um, and just track, track the ground nicely. Oh yeah, I felt full traction the entire time riding yesterday. It was great. Am I missing anything? Things that we've always had. GPS tracking. So Stromer's notorious. I've had my Stromer ST2 stolen and I got it back because there it is on the GPS map. You, you can't turn this thing off. I see where the bike goes. Uh, this bike has an anti-theft system that rivals any other anti-theft system on the market. You're not gonna find a better one. You'll only find one that has the same capability. It's got a phenomenal trip computer, so you'll always know how far you've gone. You'll know exactly what your range remaining is based on the percentage of battery. Standard features in this regard. I love the light on this bike. It's the same from the ST5, if I'm not mistaken, but the high beam, oh, like when you're riding at night, these are the touches that matter. I don't think the new wheel will stock this bike without suspension. Stromer loves building their prototypes without suspension because they look so nice. And let's all keep in mind, in Switzerland, the quality of the pavement is exemplary. I would really opt for a body float suspension seat post just because I want that stability and a little bit of forgiveness. I did that on my ST2, transformational. This is also a rack time compatible rack, which means that there are rack time specific accessories that can be installed on the back of it. And you know that will just increase the utility of the bike, increase how you can stop, what you can do, et cetera. Which brings me to a totally off topic thing that I will just say right here, which is e-bikes are the perfect match. And a bike like this especially is the perfect match for making intentional changes in one's life, for being more local, for living more mindfully, for having a richer and more human experience on a daily basis. And if I've learned anything from the last two and a half, three years, it's really that what we have is today, we happen to live in one of the most beautiful places in the world. This is a place that I wanna take in in as many ways as I can. And this is a tool that simply allows you to do that at a higher level. 
So if this is the bike that gets you in the door, great. But there's tons of bikes to try as well, and we'll help you figure out which one is the right one for you. The ideal outcome of the right purchase of the right electric bike is that it's a bike that you love and for that reason you use it because it brings you joy. And the only conceivable way to find a bike that will bring you joy is to actually get on it before you buy it. It is about finding the perfect match between your personality, your body, and the technology. Where do you go to test ride this bike? You come to the new wheel. But I want to add one little caveat. Yes. This bike is not for everyone. Mm. This bike, if you're a person who likes to go fast, if you're a person who enjoys things like uh, sporty sports, what do we call sporty sports? Kite surfing is what I'm going for. Like extreme, extreme sports, thank you. You like extreme sports, you like um, fast cars, motorcycles, just generally speedy stuff. This is a bike you need to try. It isn't the bike for everyone. It's a large bike. It's a lot of machine. It's technical and fast. Um, so I don't know. I think it's important to just to highlight that this isn't the everyone bike, but it is a phenomenal, fast, powerful, long distance machine that will do more than you ever dreamt a bicycle could do. And if you're looking for that, you should come to the new wheel and try it because I do think that it will change your perspective on what's possible. And at the new wheel, our job is to change what's your perspective on what's possible. We love to bring that magic into as many people's lives as possible. So come in, we have stores in Larkspur, San Francisco uh, and Oakland. And then I'm gonna finish this with a quick thing here. That's the Stromer Bell, Stromer Bell of Joy. We're happy to be ringing it here at the New Wheel.